hi everybody. Welcome to season two, episode eleven of the Creator Cast. Here we have probably Spider Man. Hi. Yo. This is like I'm the happy to be here. this is like the big shit, guys. <sighs> All right. Um. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Um, nice to be here. I'm honored to be here. I've seen, I've seen a lot of really cool cosplayers come on, and I'm very happy to be part of that lineup. Dude. I, I think we wanted you on here. Like, I think the for sure thing was by episode 25. And I... I think we're, yeah, we're on good track then. Yeah, I think we're on episode 23. So, like... We're on track. Yeah, we're doing great. Okay. I'm going to be chill the whole way through. I'm playing... I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be, like, as transparent as possible right now. I'm playing Stardew Valley on the second <laughs> monitor. <laughs> Well, okay. as I thought. But, um, so yeah, hi. Um, I want to talk about something big just to start out because I, it's all I'll be thinking about if I don't bring it up. So, you had your own podcast. Uh, yep. wow, bye. The Spider Bite Cast. That's it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to, like, get into the history of it? Yeah. I, so, sorry. Back no. in the day, I I fucking I was just starting out on YouTube, and I didn't necessarily think I was gonna get to the exact point where I'm at, where like I have like a relatively large subscriber base, and I really just thought I was just messing around with like a smaller amount of people, and I could really just do whatever I wanted without really having to adhere to a fan base. So I thought. You know, I could just get a bunch of cosplayers that I already had a little bit of my foot in the door with because they knew me from what I was making and stuff I was working on. So really, it was just a podcast with a lot of people I had, well, which I am currently still friends with in the community. So like people I had, I've known for a longer time, like Chem Tacular, previously known as Spider Chem, or or Southeastern Spidey, formerly known as like Spidey Suck from way back in the TikTok yeah. days uh stuff like that and i hadn't really planned on bringing it back because the views those episodes got were actually really low but i still see a lot of people and of course i'm on a podcast of, of a fan of the show but i don't see a lot of people rarely i actually rarely see people asking me to bring it back but i'm glad there's love for it okay so now everybody has to spam the comments with bring it back honestly it is it's fun too because like i i i know i haven't did, done a podcast in a long time but i still kind of remember what it feels like it's fun to like interview people you don't really know but you're like mutuals with and you kind of get to like seep in a little deeper with that with that podcast element yeah so i well now that i'm reliving it maybe i actually do want to bring it back because <laughs> i do have a couple of friends and mutuals that i'd fucking i'd love to just fucking talk to and turn the content into it oh man when are they gonna reach out to me i'm trying to i'm trying to collect these like the infinity stones i need them hell yeah this is the blue one this is the blue one to be clear we gotta I keep want, on i brand. want the rest of them i'm trying to run through them all i'm trying to get this gauntlet dude the gauntlet of podcasts seriously i so i talked about this on here before because you come up quite a lot actually um but like, with the uh, Spider Bite cast, I remember, um, so I'm 16, I'm still in high school. Uh, when I was a freshman, I would, when I was still living with my dad, I would download uh, the Spider Bite cast on my computer because my internet would turn off at night and I would be up no until like three in the morning way. watching them. No fucking way, really? Yeah. And that, see, that's why I was so disappointed. You only did six episodes because I'm like, I ended up rewatching the episodes because I'm like, I wanted more of that content, but there wasn't. Did any. you, did you do this at risk of like being caught by your parents if you were up late? Yeah. This is like some some playing on the Xbox after hours type of shit. Yeah, no, that's no, exactly, I respect it though. Yeah, that's exactly what it was, because um, I used to do the same thing. Yeah. I, I lived in the basement, so it was fine, but... Real? Oh my god. I had so many times, I would forget to turn the internet off. 
on my oh, computer. Man. So my dad would still see even though the connection was cut. <sighs> so much Would fun. he see you were watching me specifically or were you, that you were just up? That was just up. Damn. That was on YouTube. He's like, that, fuck, that goddamn fucking PSM <laughs> keeping my fucking... Keep my kid up at night again. No. I, that that would be funny as shit. It would be. But no, dude. Um, I feel like with everybody, like you, you were the one that got me into cosplay. Um, because like for the for a while, I made this like I drew up this really cool suit. It sucks now, by the way. Like looking at it, it looks not good. At least not my taste. Oh come on. It can't be that bad. It's it's not that bad. It just the only blue on the suit is the arms. The rest of it I is see. red webbed. So it's a lot of red. But is is that mask on the back in in the back on the shelf? Is that custom or did you? Uh, it's it's print costume, but it's my own suit. It's regardless, it's sick. Thank you. So uh, I use the McFarlane shell for that one. And then right. for my actual suit, I use this one. Oh, shit. That's fucking sick. So I can see a glimpse of your costume in the in the in the profile picture here. Yeah. OK, here, one sec. I can also just have it on hand. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, cool suit. Oh shit! It looks so much like Jake's though. Oh, that's the thing. You, I mean, you flip, you flipped it around so that the the you've got like the because that that zipper going down the back. That's the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've kind of like flipped the design around, and it's it, I I I think it's pretty differential, but it, it can. I suppose I can kind of see what you mean, where it looks similar to like other people's costumes but black red and white is very popular right now yeah i like to think that if anything mine just looks like the advanced version of jake's <laughs> did you tell him that when you had him on i did actually um well because like mine has like the thigh padding and it mm. like it seems a lot more like the advanced suit than it does a classic suit and jake seems a lot more like a classic suit than it does an advanced suit yeah so. Honestly, I fucking I'm 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 jealous of Jake because Jake got on here and he had a margarita ordered and he started sipping on it. I was like, D I kind of feel like I need to get a drink out here. Yeah, dude. I need my alcohol to drink on my podcast or not my podcast, but my podcast interview to get lit and shit. I have dude. no drink on me. Dude. OK, you also just reminded me of something that I'm going to just shamelessly plug real quick. I'm also still doing commissions, by the way, face shells. And I'm doing it. Go hit him uh, up. PSM endorsement. Yeah. And I'm doing the uh, Across the Spider-Verse uh, theme now where they have the rainbow thing. Check it out. Anyway. Go look at it. When people first started doing YouTube, like before everybody like knew everything about how shit worked, people were like thinking they could do this for the rest of their life and then they just fall off. Yeah. And then disappear. No job. They got to figure out something else to fucking get by. I don't want to be that way, and I think I have a I have a benefit of being able to look at my YouTube forefathers, yeah, and how they operate. It's it's given me a lot of insight as to what to do, what not to do, how to handle controversy, how to not handle controversy, shit like that. But being a being a basically just being a YouTuber is my only job, and I know that can't be the case for too long. I feel like having, like having your YouTube and everything, and having a fan base that you have, already like opens you up to a lot of opportunities. Though, like maybe you don't just do YouTube for the rest of your life, but maybe it can help you get other jobs. Like, I don't know. I I'm blanking on ideas of what other jobs no, can I help you with, but. <laughs> I think I think the the thing with that is just that YouTube is like a super hyper specific deal. Like every no YouTuber is exactly the same, and I think that's kind of the appeal of the platform. I think any YouTuber has a opportunity to branch off into doing something else, but it's really just about what they do on their channel 
that makes them notable. I think I if I I don't know, like if 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 if, if some costuming company saw my channel after I get, I get to like some huge point in skill because I don't think I'm necessarily there yet. I'm not like the greatest cosplayer of all time. I, I don't want to say that. I'm I don't I don't think I'm good enough to be picked up by a costuming company, but if I ever did get to that point, maybe that could be my jump off. But I doubt it because I don't think costuming is a is a huge industry where I can just like leap into it and be okay. Do you need to like come to recruit you for design? Maybe. I also don't think I'm like a uh I'm, I'm too much of a designer either. That's the problem. I have like hyper specific autistic skills and and these don't translate into real world jobs very well. It's it's your superpower. That's very true. I don't deny that. I have a I I fucking I I I I need to have an idea about what I'm going to do in the future because I don't necessarily at the moment i streaming is fun i like streaming maybe that'll be it i don't know we can last stream. oh my god you could be like that one guy that um i just saw it in a danny gonzalez video the the guy no that just like stares no. at the screen not that fucking guy <laughs> i that's the opposite of who i want to be when when i get old and gray and i can't do content creation anymore and i'm forced to do that Man, it's going to be real miserable behind the scenes. I'm no longer going to be chill as fuck crazy on camera. I'm going to fucking be crazy all the time. Okay. Except there'll be different kinds of crazy. On, on stream. Jason be... Nash. Yes. Jason just remembered his name. Holy shit. That's, that's the fear. That's my greatest fear, bro. A fall off that hard. That's a hard ass fall off. You don't want to, like, just stream and stare at the camera and make money? Oh, no. No. I have a wife who doesn't love no. you. No. No. <laughs> that sounds like hell. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about something, like, huge. Um, so, Spider-Man is real. Yes. So, oh, was that a comic that you were going to do? That was absolutely a comic I was gonna do, but I, I feel like I get I get distracted and pulled away to all kinds of other projects. Right. One of one of those one of those projects being this channel and the the TV show, which I fucking said I would do for five thousand likes, which in retrospect is so stupid. Yeah, that's another like I, I <laughs> I can't fucking believe that I put my so many hours of my time on the line for 5,000 likes. Not that I'm not enjoying it and that I'm not currently working on it. But yeah, Spider-Man is Real is a comic that I was and sometimes still think about and work on where basically me and Trey, a common co-host on my channel, would get spider powers in the real world that Spider-Man currently exists in, yeah. which is where he's a a pop culture character. And it was sort of this story about how two people are learning to become superheroes through each other while also debating amongst themselves about how these sort of superhero antics should be translated into real world justice. Because superhero stories can't blend seamlessly into real life it's a lot more complicated than that yeah. there's like judicial systems that are sometimes biased against like people in our society that you know us as spider-man if we were real like vigilantes we would be putting people up to face those systems and really it's about well it's really a story about two boys who are probably as close as brothers trying to figure out how to translate spider-man into the real world and what they should and shouldn't do and what they can and can't do basically oh, if i had to explain it i i love that i love the like spidey coming to life almost but like not quite it's the idea of spider-man coming to life yeah i really wanted it to be i didn't want it to be your average like spider-man oc story and i i'm worried i 
shouldn't have told people what the story is like because I've seen so many other people like come to me and be like, hey, what do you think of my idea of a Spider-Man story? And it's just like whatever I've explained Spider-Man is real to be in passing. <laughs> and I love it. I yeah, I kind of wish I kept that one in the drafts because I still kind of want to do that someday. Like, I still think Spider-Man is real, is has the potential to be a really fun and I guess really informative Spider-Man story. Because it's not, to me, it wouldn't be just like, oh, how would Spider-Man work in the real world? It'd also be like a, a sort of meta crit criticism of Spider-Man, you know, his current comics, because obviously they're fans of Spider-Man himself. And, you know, of course that means they would talk about Spider-Man in the book as things are being released. Of course, this is how I planned it to be. And I never actually got to fully doing it. But Kai, I guess, because I didn't have any better names for them. They're, they're, they, we, they have our names, which is Kai and Trey. Yeah. Kai and Trey were really just planned to be these sort of outsiders to, to your typical like Spider-Verse character. They're characters that have a eye into the Spider-Man world while also being able to be so different from it because they're like, first of all, they're not real Spider-Man characters. And second of all, they're kind of like Gwenpool where like she's a real person that's dealing with things that are in, like entirely fucking cosmic and like not at yeah. all conforming to like science and regular understanding of like how the world and works and shit because she has superpowers. Yeah. I I love that. Um I, I, I really I really love that. I would again I'd love to see it. Um I, I wanna do it. You got me talking about it. That's the that's the trick. Dude, I know. Do you know how many people I've been able to convince to do stuff that they haven't wanted to do on here? Or that they haven't wanted to do before like I got on here. I'm a little worried. I'm worried people come off this cast and become a whole new person. Uh, no, people come off this cast and are usually tired or drunk. I, um, I love it. And dude, your show, like from what I've seen, it's really impressive. Thank you. I'm worried that it won't stand the test of time and people won't like it five years from now. Oh. I'm, I'm waiting for the Twitter thread that says, can we admit that probably Spider-Man, Spider-Man show wasn't that good? I, I, I'm waiting for that to come out because I know it's coming. Here's the thing. Have you, well, you haven't released it yet, have you? No, not. I've released clips in some videos. Like, I'll add a teaser, like, somewhere in a video or I'll show off clips I've animated in live, but I haven't, like, drop dropped anything to the public yet. Okay. My, my favorite clip that you've shown so far is the, uh, the Daredevil clip. Oh my god, that clip is so old and so dumb. But Just I, the, the can I borrow him? Yeah, seriously. Spider-Man needs his team up, buddy. He needs his duos, buddy. He needs his fucking, he needs his Fortnite friend oh my god. to fucking get on the goddamn game. Where's my Daredevil at? Can I borrow him? I'm, I'm experiencing this right now. Anyway. No, um, I'm really, so I've, um, I'm creating a fan show. Live action, so. Oh? Uh, like a Spider-Man show? Yeah. Well, tell me about it. Okay, I, I was getting there, just. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay. I, I talk about it on here so much, I don't want to like, bore the fans. If we have any. But, um, no, it's basically, um, it's a Peter Parker and Ben Riley story. And uh, that hasn't been told before in film, so that's a good idea off the bat. Oh, <laughs> my story hasn't been told before, period. That's oh. okay. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty loose-lipped when it comes to my projects as well. Like if I think if you have ever had like a polite conversation with me before, I've probably showed you like a early preview of a video. Oh my god. I'll, I'll tell you a couple films I, I've had a part in. I've had a part in uh, Spider-Man Ordinary 3, which is... I don't know how popular it is, but it's it's one of the, I guess, more prominent ongoing fan films that are being made right now. I made the official Spider-Man suit that the character is going to be wearing in their future outings. I don't know if he's currently wearing it, but I also made the currently 
I'm also making the current, or I also made the current suit for uh, Tough Cookie Productions' Marvelous Spider-Man. Uh, and I want to be, I want to be. Oh, there is one other fan film suit that I made that that is going to be. It's going to be released soon, and I haven't shown it to the public yet, but I know it's good, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Keep in but mind, I can't, I can't, I can't release it yet. I'll say. It's Will a it be out by the 14th? Of this of April of, of April, I have no clue when because I I don't think filming has started yet. Oh, I'm I'm still waiting for them to text me because they basically they paid for two versions of the costume. They wanted a stunt version and they wanted a film version. It was actually my idea. They wanted two versions, but I I thought it would be a good idea to do one to use for stunts and the other to use for on film like shots and shit yeah for the stunt version it basically just had more visible eyes uh i guess it it was easier to take or it was i believe it was easier to take on and off uh and the film version was just a little more put together and uh the seams were were a little more hidden but I'm I'm not sh exactly sure where they're at in production because by the time I was still working on this unknown project, they were still working on what they wanted to do for the script. And gotcha. I'm I'm basically advising on it as well. So I'm kind of telling them like what I think they should do storytelling wise and what I think they're doing right, what I think they're doing wrong. Dude, but you I'm, me with that? I yeah, I'd be down to advise on anyone's fan film. I love working on fan films, honestly. It's kind of a, it's a, it's a really fun hobby for me, because I I love making suits for people's projects. If it's like a project that I think is gonna do really well, like and I I won't lie, I like to get paid for my suits. So if the money is there, I'm gonna make a banger ass costume. Fair. How much do you charge for your suits? Uh, the deal, the deal I ran for the Spider-Man project I just told you about was he, I basically got paid a thousand dollars, but that, but keep in mind, I made a stunt suit and a, a, you know, film version. So there's two versions of the suit for a thousand bucks. I don't know if I'd do something like that again. I might do it a little more pricier. I just, you know, figured it was the classic suit so I could you know just do something i've done a billion times before and i'd love to i'd love to do you know suits for anybody that has the cash to cough up and the fan project to back it i i i just the thing is though i don't want to make a beautiful costume for somebody's fan film and that fan film ends up getting like discontinued yeah like my my worst nightmare is making a costume so beautiful and then no content gets made of it and I never see it again. Yeah. That's my worst nightmare. Like, it's so bad that I think if that happened to that fan film production that I'm working on right now, I might straight up ask them to sell me the suit back if they're not going to use it. Oh my god. Regardless, I've lost count of how many suits I'm at. I used to have a count. I don't know what we're at anymore. Like, at all. Dude, you know how, like, dads have, like, a database on the phone of all the DVDs or all the CDs or something that you have. You need that for your suits. I need that. You're right. I just, need that. Just register all your that suits. Would be sick. Honestly, my Instagram used to be that, but then I I was like, I don't want my personal Instagram to be my YouTube Instagram, and then I went back and forth on that, and I started posting in between two accounts, and that just got real messy. I, there's no way for the I think the public to know every suit I've made now, Fair. unless it's like my encyclopedia video, which is outdated at this point, and it was probably outdated like a week after I made it. That's totally fair. I make a lot of suits. You do. I this uh, this interview has flown by. We're like 50 minutes in. Damn, really? Yeah. I'm honestly having fun here. Like this is a this is a real this is, this is a real vibe sesh. Sometimes I find it kind of you're cool as shit. Sometimes I kind of find it hard to interact with with people who like you know hold me to a high regard and think I'm super cool. You're chill as shit. Okay. See, I told you I would get cool after a while. 
Fair. I'm I'm just a normal old guy. I'm just a regular little guy. I make funny videos on the internet. Sometimes it's 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 hard to interact with people who know my content. But you you've been cool the whole way through. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I've uh I feel like a big part of that is like you're very personable in your videos. Like you aren't just like a content creator. You're like you talk to your audience and everything. Yeah, I don't want to I feel like YouTube means too much to me to like separate my my I guess I I can be pretty emotional. I think like people I don't want to fucking make myself sound like some saint or whatever. <laughs> But typically, I, I'm, a, I'm a very emotional person and things like kind of mean a lot to me. YouTube is one of those things. I, I've been a YouTuber much longer than I think people have really known me to be a YouTuber. And it's not because I've been working on this channel. It's because I wanted to be a YouTuber ever since I was a little boy. And oh, same. Yeah. And like being, being able to finally do that now if I were to just not be, you know, I like if I were to try to not be transparent with my audience, I think that would make it would just feel wrong to me. After all, like that work it took me to get here. It means too much to me, I think, to like sort of put like a like a, a like a fake personality up. I like to be transparent with my audience sometimes. Yeah, I completely agree. Because like, what's the point in doing that if it's just... I don't know. If it's something exactly. you care about, why base it in, like, a mask? Right. Like, I, I <sighs> to some degree, I do kind of wish I had my face behind a mask. And, and number, in fact, that's my number one piece of advice. If, if anybody wants to be a YouTuber now, do not show your face. I, don't I, show your face. Don't show your name, okay? If you can hide behind, behind a persona, do it. I would do the same thing while acting the same exact way. But I, what I also have to say is that I, I just want to, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers like you hear about in a fucking exposed video. Like, yeah. I think now that we've been raised by like a bunch of YouTubers who eventually would turn into people who end up in videos like that, I think it's, it's important that, you know, we learn from previous, you know, YouTubers mistakes and we don't repeat that because our generation is as fucked as it is, and if they get fucking, if they grow up on YouTubers that are just as fucked as the ones before, and if not even more, what are we doing? Yeah. I gotta be a good influence. I gotta fucking. I know this is really corny, but I swear to God, it means the world to me. Being a YouTuber is like a fucking immense, immense fucking power to me, and I don't ever want to fucking use it irresponsibly and do some dumbass shit. Never. Especially like. Like for me, my favorite thing is like clicking upload on not not so much the podcast episodes because like these are take an hour of my time to record and then take like seven hours to edit. I don't edit well, but and, and then imagine one day you're just not able to do that anymore because you got a hundred million subscribers and then you fucked with a minor. That shit is so stupid. Like, I don't understand why these YouTubers do that. Like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. Like, you've gained so many subs. You have so much influence. And if you keep going down the path that you're on, you could have more money. You could have more Mark. You could have more money bigger than fucking Markiplier's titties. All right. You could have as much money as you fucking wanted. But you throw it all away for stupid shit like YouTube controversy, texting my- like all this dumbass shit that YouTubers are always getting fucking clapped for. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. Like every time one of my like fucking normie friends who like maybe doesn't fucking get as deep into YouTube as I do is like watching some like YouTuber get canceled for something. They're like, oh, did you hear that so-and-so got done for, for this and this? And I'm like, bro, these guys are fucking idiots. They do not know how to fucking handle their jobs. They don't know what to say. You gotta say the right shit or the internet's just never gonna let you go. They're gonna maul you to death. But see, that's like the exact thing is like, that's the exact reason you don't do it is cause like for a lot of people, it's more than a job. Like it's- Right, it's, like you're an idol. Exactly. Like you, you have, it's, it's, it's not healthy to think of it this way, but you do have like, people who 
like, no responsibility. rely on you. Oh yeah, my like, God. you have a very real responsibility. Like, that's not even a joke. With great power. Me. That's what I was saying earlier. <laughs> like, that, I've thought about this so many times. I'm like, dude, this is, like, real power. Like, this is the most power I've ever held in my life. Because you have an influence YouTuber. over people. Right. Like, I could tell my young fans to go to school tomorrow and fucking throw milk cartons at their teachers and they would do it. That's power. That's real power. And I want to do it now that I've said it, but I won't. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't throw milk at your teachers. I, I, I agree. All right. I kind of want to go back. I want to go back on it. No. no, I don't. no don't, don't throw <laughs> milk at your teachers. <laughs> All right. Um, we are actually about out of time. Oh, man. So, um, Kai, thank you very much for coming on. This was a really fun episode. Um, I'm honored to be here. I was honored to be here. Do you have anything you'd like to promote? Um, I, I've made, I've made a couple of videos recently that aren't doing particularly well. And I know that if my fans watched them, that they would like them. I have a video up right now called uh hold on hold on hold on i have a youtube video up called youtube's dropped spider-man figurines i basically just go through and review the whole new wave of spider-man youtubes if you didn't see that i uploaded that because youtube hid it from you it's there i promise you're gonna like that review it's funny it's got some editing in it it's good uh the batman video comes out on April 1st. If you want to see me betray the Spider-Man community for Batman for like 10 minutes, tune in on April 1st. I think at like 12 p.m. it drops. Keep in mind, that's been out for two weeks now. Yeah, the, the, wait, which one? The, the Batman one. Oh yeah, the Batman one, that, it's actually up right now and it's available to my members if people want to watch it early. No, I'm meaning because this comes out on the 14th. Oh yeah, you're right. My that video's already out. You're so right. You're so right. Go watch my Batman video. It's really good. I think I speak truth to the character of Batman a whole lot. And uh Shit. Go watch my Comic Con video. That was a good video. It was. Thank um, you. is there is there something else? Merch. Go buy my merch. I actually just released two new pieces of merch, along with merch that you can find plugged in the batman video i i did an exclusive drawing of my psm sona getting fucking stomped out by the fucking batman sona and it's on a t-shirt that you can fucking buy on the merch store i also have some new clothing items up like these if you want to get some spider swag you know to pull some some I don't know, some some nice looking people, I guess, who like Spider-Man. These are the hoodies for you. You could pair that with yeah. a very nice a spandex suit. Yeah, you would be surprised how well you could just... I have so many pieces of clothing that just have spiders on them. And it's drip. Like, it's casual drip. I love wearing, like, hoodies that... I'll, I'll, I wonder if I have... Yeah, here, look. It's so easy to just wear casually. Like, look, this is one of my regular hoodies that I wear all the time. You wouldn't even notice that it's Spider-Man, but it's got a web pattern on it. Yeah. Come on! Buy my merch! Buy my merch! I swear to God, it's drip. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, everything that Kai mentioned will be linked below. Once again, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to check out our Patreon. Be sure to check out our shop on the website that's linked below. Um, we're doing Mandalorian helmets. Check them out. Um, yeah. Go buy them all. Yeah. Go, we have, we, we make them to order, so there's not really all, but anyway, check out all the other channels. Every check last out the one I delete my channel. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, my bad. I was trying to get him excited. <laughs> I'm like panicking now. Um, That's go. not a joke, chat. You better buy all of those. Go check out the Patreon for the full hour interview to see all the craziness that we just had. Check out the Spotify. And most of all, thank you all so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye, y'all.